milk, crate, marauder. There was a big uh, drop in the Dow yesterday that sent everybody scrambling and... Oh, oh no, one of stocks! 374 oh, points, fueling a uh, oh, bear market fear. Oh, I'm giving out! Stocks nosedived uh, uh, yesterday. Sell Lucent! Oh. <laughs> now people are wondering once again what to do. This is like every other week they're oh. wondering what to do. Hey. Oh, please don't panic. Just hang tough. <laughs> I P P P a P P O. I I I I I my pet. I'm it's out of luck. I I I crap. I can't believe our resident stock expert didn't run in on that story. I, 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 bye. <laughs> it's Sal. Maybe he can run in and tell us about the Yankees. They've lost six in a row, I think. Does it matter if the Yankees lose six in a row? What in about the stocks? Well, how are you doing in the stock market? It, 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 didn't, it didn't really affect me too much. Does it affect you? No, I mean, because, you know, we've got good stocks. A lot of blue chip stocks. You have blue chips? You've moved into blue chips, not those risky stocks that you used to be? I mean, I have a few right. risky uh, stocks, but, but most are blue chips. Well, you understand why the, why does, you, you explain to us why, um, uh, how many stock exchanges are there? The, the two major ones. Yeah, the, the NASDAQ. Yes, and the NASDAQ, the, the NASDAQ has. There's all the tech stocks. That's right. Yeah, so, so the tech stocks tend to do better because everyone's investing in in stocks that, you know, uh, no, the tech stock. You're dopey. No, no, listen. The I'm, tech stocks tend to do better. Why? Why do the tech stocks tend to do better in poor economic times or when there's a scare in the economy? Right, yeah, tell me. No, tell me. Go ahead. No, no, you're no, the I, no, I, I, what I is the reason? A lot of these tech stocks are doing I, well because of the internet I, and all and, and all I, that I, stuff. I, I don't know. Because of the internet. <laughs> no, no, a lot of those stocks are are like going crazy. A lot of the companies are affected by oil crises, oil products, and and the prices, as you know, are going up because um, you don't know any of this. You're no, in the no, stock market. No, I, I have heard uh, this. Yeah. Tech stocks are less affected. Well, why didn't you say it? I, I was. <laughs> It's, it's a very tough room, Robin. But all right, never mind that. Okay, so the Yankees. The Yankees. We'll go to something you would know Who about. Who cares about the exhibition games? No one cares. No. So it no doesn't, one, it means doesn't nothing. This is a, anything. This is a time to lose, is what yes. you're saying. I mean, Orlando Test Hernandez's back has been hurting. Right. I mean, it's, 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 Nobody they, cares. No, they put in new players. You know, they try people out. I mean, right. It's, it's, everyone's so just warming up. This is not the team that won the World Series. Right. We're not mind. looking at the team. I don't think even in their minds they really. Uh, Care much yet? All right. I mean, so you're not worried. No, I'm not worried. <laughs> but I, you know, I'm, you're not worried I, about I, I, the I, stock market I, or the Yankees. I, I know a lot of Met fans. You know, think this is the year, Howard. So it's a lot of like, like, okay. like Gary. They get a lot of guys. They think this is the year for the Mets. Okay. So uh, I think they should worry when they have a pitcher who. who well, the Mets have been losing as well, right? So you're staying in the stock market. <laughs> yeah, aren't you? Yeah. yeah. Yes, of course. I'm, I'm, I'm asking you. We were trying to find something to talk to you about. What is it, Baba Buhai? Stay in it for the long haul. Of you know course, I mean? of course. It's a downtime, and then right. it'll go back up again. Right. You know, it's not like there's some big crash. Right. Thank you. All right, let's continue, Robin. Yeah. And, 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 and like, you know what I heard, Howard, just about oh, the stock market? And, 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 uh, <laughs> Europe's uh, exchange didn't crash, so right. they okay. Okay. Hours, hours should be fine. Okay, thank you, John. In the meantime, I hear him on the phone all day long. What about that stock? You said it was going to go up. What about that stock? I heard you talking about that. Sal, he talks to sell the stockbroker. Right. No, when Sal calls, sometimes I ask him about, about stocks. Right. I know, yeah. he's back to on working the phones again, huh? No, 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 it's Sal, it's not uh, yeah. Oh, Whatever. it's Sal. You called him yesterday. What? Oh, the, day, the day before you called him, I know I heard you. Uh, uh, how is that one stock going? You mean the one that yeah, called? Yeah, you, you mean the call Can that you Can you call him, him at home when you're at home? Hold on, Gary, I hope you do this because you called No, 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 him. he called me. I he called you called back. Him. He wasn't here. I, that had nothing to do with you. The next thing I did is I heard you calling him. And what were you, you calling about? Because he called me, he's a guest on the show sometimes, right. so I return right. his call. Right. What's your excuse? No, I think I'm, I'm pretty sure it was because of his stocks. But all right, no, well, you, well, right. you don't know. Then you're an asshole. You don't know anything about oh. me, so don't you dare say that. I'm You've never talked to Sal about stocks. I don't. I don't even deal with Sal. You've never talked to Sal about. I call stocks. Sal back. You've never talked. I'm, I'm sorry. sorry. You've never spoken Wait to Sal about stocks don't, ever. Don't go fishing. Oh, I talk to Sal because sometimes he's a guest on the show. He'll call me and say, "Hey, I got a stock for you. I don't even invest in it, man. If anything comes, you never invested in a Sal stock that came from you. I don't talk to Sal about stocks. Don't try to sit here. 
finger pointed in the wrong direction. I'm you know sorry. What? I'm sorry. Forgot you pointed the finger. Yeah, because I didn't you know point what? You're the on the phone too goddamn much yeah, doing things you shouldn't be you, doing. You, you now you brought it up. Sal. You open the can of worms. You talked about Sal. You talked about Sal. What is he doing? You talked about Sal. Who's he talking to? You talked about Sal. Sal's stockbroker. This guy, that guy, everything. But what he's supposed to do before he does his goddamn show? Yeah. Do me a favor. Stick to the show. You know you want to go home and call Sal. Come on, buddy. Gary. You talk to Sal. You want to stop that fight? Pick it. What? You've never talked to Sal about stocks. I don't call Sal about stocks. This is a lie. It's not a lie. All right. It's not a lie. What about you? Forget about him. I'm asking about you. With Sal on the goddamn stock. No, I'm not. You he called me. He called John, me. John, you called him yesterday. I heard you call him up, and the first words out of your mouth is, "What's going on now, with that Gary, stock?" Gary, you don't really know why I called Sal. I don't. And you don't know why I. So I don't want to blow it now, but it wasn't. It wasn't about that. So f okay, you. So, so because because hey, you totally wrong. No, you brought it up. I didn't bring this up. You did, Gary. Yeah, and you I didn't attack you. You, you attacked me. You accused me of you something. Attacked me you accused me first. You accused me of something that's just not true. Punch plus you attacked me first. You accused me of something that's not true. No, you started face. No, you attacked me about calling Sal. I was calling Sal for a different reason. So well, you were wrong. So you should have said I was calling Sal for a different yeah, reason. But I, you, yeah, but I don't want to because there's a certain me. reason. That me, me, see, this is going to blow everything. Me and Sal, we're working on something. And believe me, John, you. my problem with you is not what was going on a day ago uh, on one phone call. So in general, you talk to me in, in general, private. then you should talk to me in private. Oh, come on, there's no private. No, no. The point is, no I talking mean, to you, you in attack private. me about when something. he talks to you in private. When he talks to you in private, you don't listen. That's not true. That is true. It's so not true. You, you, you attacked me. You I attacked you back. All right, so let's stop this right now. Then you start yelling. John, let's stop this right now and listen to me carefully. Forget about him. No, but he's he's. I don't he's, care. Fine. Listen to me. Did did, John, did, did, do you remember that you work for me, or did that thought just fall out of your stupid well, head? Well, then, Gary. First of all, if I work for you, you came in here. John, and, no, no, and he, like, me, and I didn't stop John. It's like me and you aren't equals. I, it's a sad state of affairs. I apologize, but we're not equals. Gary, so. I didn't start this fight. You John, did. Look at me. You did. John, what? You absolutely started. No, I didn't. I didn't mention you in any way with stocks. No. You did. The problem is, you're busy I didn't want to come in here. You guys phone. told me to come in here. You're busy on the phone with the stock market. I am telling you to stop. I was working with South. All right, for I'm the done show. with you now. Goodbye, Howard. It's Goodbye. something That's for the all, show. That would have been get very the last funny. Word. Don't get the last wait, wait. word in your head. All right, I'm going to turn, was... turn up. He's, he's missing the point. <laughs> You're missing the point again. It's like a Forget train. about that conversation. All right, that's the, the conversation show. he's Even talking about. Even if you about. think you're right, just go, you know what, Howard, I'm going to get no, out of here. Right. Okay, you're allowed I'm to attack me or something. I'm John. ready to leave. John, <laughs> yeah. in general, yeah, I understand. stick to your job. Don't no, talk on the phones about stocks. This is not the stock market. This is a radio no, show. I understand that. And you know what? And don't bother me with this crap off the air. We go in the office. I'm not going to bother you. Go to your desk. Do we? I'm not going to bother you. I'm going to go to my desk. I'm not going to bother with you about it. All right. Go do your job. Go do your job. I didn't come in here lashing out calling people assholes, Gary. Nor did I come in here calling someone stupid. That was. I didn't say. Call me plunger face, you jerk. Plunger puss. Yeah. Oh, I should go enjoy that. I mean, assholes a stronger word than plunger puss. No, no, John. Let's go back to the tape and say who called who first. You call me plunger, plunger no, no. first. I, I think you call me asshole first. Well, why don't we go and check that out? <laughs> yeah. right, why don't we go, go and take it? I go get check done. it. Guys, I've got to get done. I have an appointment. Go check it. I have an appointment. Go to the videotape. All right. We and you know what? The show is done. Plunger I'm now into the, the, what's that girl's name who does the show? Yeah, Julie Cypher show. Plunger Puss Slater. the boss. Snyder. I'm in the Ju Slater. Julie Slater show is on now. Let her have a shot. Well, I've had listen, enough. I came in because you guys asked me to come in. I asked you for a quick question. Yeah, and I asked you. And then Gary came here going crazy. I'm going to now have the last word. Not you. Fine. Don't talk about I the dare stock you to market. Get the last word in on him. I dare you. Goodbye. Leave. Now leave. Take care, man. <laughs> yeah, can't do it. Only to make Gary happy. All right. Goodbye. Can you imagine trying to keep him under control? No, there is because everybody here is a star. We have no, we have no regular workers. Everybody becomes a celebrity. Oh, I hope Gangie's running busy with personal appearance. Who is this? Uh -huh. Stuttering John went out yesterday to uh, Hero of the Stupid. All right, Stuttering John went out to. Uh, <laughs> where where was this press conference? It was at the Harley Davidson Cafe, and uh, it was packed. <laughs> well, this was a new crowd of reporters for you, wasn't it? You usually don't see a lot of sports guys. No, no, no. It's the same same usual idiots. You know. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like you know, Doug Johnson was there from ABC. Yeah. Was he yelling at you? Yeah, yelling at me. Yell it at me, the guy. Right, because you were asking dumb questions of a guy who, I mean, LT is going professional wrestling. Yeah, he's doing something dumb, and John shouldn't ask dumb questions? Yeah, that's how it was. They were Personally, all... I don't think we wrote anything that dumb. No. But, you know, I'm insulted. But you know what the problem was? <laughs> right. These were smart Every questions. one of our questions had nothing to do with wrestling. <laughs> well, LT answered all our questions, but didn't he get mad at another reporter? Yeah, LT liked, liked me, but hated this other guy from Fox. Oh, there you yeah. go. Well, there you go. All right, well, let's take a listen. Here he is, LT. 
And, 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 Isn't he considered like one of the best football players yes. ever in the history of the game? Guaranteed mm -hmm. Hall of Famer. And you know what it is? How, um, they have all these wrestlers come out first before LT, and they do their whole act thing, you know. Oh, I'm, I'm going to be, I'm going to rule the world, you know, and all that stuff. Right, it's, right. It's very embarrassing. And LT comes out, and he, he can't do that. Well, he tried. He, you know, he, he did try? Yeah, he makes it attempt. No. Oh. Do we have that on? Yeah, we got it all. <laughs> so let's go through the magic of uh, tape. Let's go to that press conference yesterday. Here we are. I don't hear a friggin' thing. Uh. <laughs> Do you have the, 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 is it on the right the, way? The right buttons up, man. What, are you saying I'm stupid? <laughs> no, no. Come on, with you. I'm just saying. No wonder the reporters get angry at you. Look at it. Yeah, I'm already mad at you. Get upset. No, there's nothing coming through. Gary, are there two buttons now? That's Scott the engineer. Hey, Scott, why don't you, Scott, you know what? I got to tell you something. You are zero help to me. I don't understand something. What do you do? You put the tape on and you don't hit the buttons? Get on the microphone, please, while I yell at you. <laughs> what? I didn't check those buttons. I'm sorry. But every time we go through. It's not every time. It makes me look bad. It's not, it's not every time. You know, it makes me look bad. It makes I me look like I'm incompetent. That's my job. What, making me look bad? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, very good. Thank you. Thank you again for your help. Enjoy. All right, thank you. Enjoy. <laughs> Enjoy. 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 I think I'll go back and have a cigarette now. <laughs> Two. A few. A few. A few, buddy. Make you look like a jerk in front of millions. You think you're a big star, but I can make you look like a jerk. The equalizer yeah. strikes again. John goes, did you press the right button? Of course. I mean, I've been doing this for 100 years. I don't know what button to press. Only Scott's been doing this 100 years. What? The funniest thing is Scott has got his new digital workshop no, back The funniest there. thing is watching you try to get that word out. <laughs> right, right. And he's got a new digital workshop, so he's so happy to get things yeah, done. He's busy work. Now efficiently. Yeah, right. This, and he can't press a button. All right, let's get back to the press conference. The mood was, uh, Rob and I apologize, the mood was broken. I'm sorry. All right, let's Can get we back. recreate that mood? I don't know. Let's see. <laughs> Oh, the oh, okay. Oh, the announcer is. Uh, oh, you don't. I don't care. You, go ahead. <laughs> Thank you. I don't know what I'm supposed to say. Now I'm making the move. <laughs> you know, I mean, no, but the announcer. They, they have a dish jockey there to announce. Oh yeah. And it's this guy, Scott and Todd. You know that team, Scott and Todd from New York. Oh, Scott, uh, Shannon, Scott Shannon. Yeah. Who did so well in Los Angeles yeah. that they blew him out of town right. in less than a year. The radio savior. Yeah. <laughs> Scott Shannon and Todd. So Todd. His gig is announcing the wrestling. Okay. And he's like, you know, one of these guys, hey, everybody. You know, how you doing? This is Todd from uh, Z100. A yuck jock. Yeah, I'm a yuck jock. <laughs> and he looks like a yuck jock, you know. Where is it? What station are they on? PLJ, PLJ yeah. We're from WPL Jerkoff. <laughs> <laughs> Scott and Todd with you. You know, a guy, guy who has taken the English language to a new depth of lows and, and somehow converted the language into some kind of weird disc jockey speak. <laughs> or really are with you. Wait till you hear this guy. So you get the cast of characters now? Okay. Okay. The World Wrestling Federation. Is that him? For over 50 years. Uh, the no. revolutionary force in sports entertainment. Good afternoon, everybody. Thank you Who's all that? for coming. My name that's him, man. Who's that, Todd? Yeah, I think so. Oh, that's Todd? Yeah. Wait a minute. Did they have a, an intro on tape? Oh, they had video intros to, <laughs> you know, to, like, to certain uh, yeah. you know, f you know, wrestlers. They, they need that so you get excited by two guys pretending to beat each other up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this was great. It was very yeah. elaborate. That's, uh, that's not Todd. Oh. It's like the, there's like 50 people to introduce 50 people. Yeah. So it's, the, it's a lot of people with nothing to do. It's that great introduction yeah. into some guy who you don't know who it is, into Todd, into LT. All right, you and we edited this down a lot. It was real yeah, boring. I, I mean, there was like four guys who've got, who've gotten up to, at this point. i got to hear that intro again. The World Wrestling Federation. For over 50 years, the revolutionary force. You think something's really happening. Yeah. This is like a lot of... Nothing's happening. Well, what's going to come out now? They're going to introduce a guy whose whole career is really over, guy and this is a last desperate attempt. There's be several guys with paint on their faces, <laughs> calling next, themselves weird names. Next press conference we have, you stand there, Robin, and the whole time you just go... <laughs> and I'll go, here's Howard. <laughs> Robin's absolutely right, though, because on, on all the news clips last night, had uh, LT was yelling that he's going to kick Bam Bam's ass. Bam yeah, Bam. Good. That's a piece of tape you want <laughs> hanging around. That's a career destroyed. <laughs> all that credibility. Yeah, down zero the credibility. Down the train. Somebody said he's getting a half a million dollars to be in WrestleMania 11. That's what they're promoting. I would say. Then hold the doll and bring on the. <laughs> <laughs> I say he's even get more than that. Really? I, would you do it for? And him? you know they're going to let him win. It's going to be like a fixed fight. 
All right, let me hear this. Like the Good afternoon, everybody. Hi. Thank you all for coming. My name is Steve Planamenta, Director of Communications for the World Bank. <laughs> Director of Communications. My name is Judge Lance Edel. <laughs> I was going to say, is this the water boy we're talking to? I don't know. The Federation. I'd like to thank our, our hosts here at the Harley Davidson Cafe for all their help in putting this event on. Uh, and I'm going to turn it right over to our host. Uh, you hear him every morning on 95.5 WPLJ, and you uh -oh. see him every weekend. Here comes a disc jockey embarrassing the entire profession. Well, it Get is ready. possible to hear him every morning. Everybody doesn't hear him every morning. Oh, yeah, as a matter of fact, according to the last ratings, <laughs> hardly anybody listens to him every morning. He's talking potential here. Yeah, uh, there is potential for everyone to hear him because he is on a radio station. And if everybody lost their mind and, and took a lot of acid, yeah. they would tune him in and listen to him. Because he's about to speak like no other human being on the planet. The WWF Television Network. Talk How could a guy go into the communications business and not communicate <laughs> with anybody? But I love he's a morning show host and the voice of the WWF Network. Oh, the network. Oh, of course. I didn't realize that. Wow. Mm -hmm. oh, God, I hate being a dish jockey. What are we doing uh, making fun of him? He's the voice of the WWF Network. That's why no matter how many, like... Best-selling books I write, or how many TV shows I get offered, or if I get offered films, I still feel like a jerk. Hmm. I can't believe that anyone takes me serious because I'm in this stinking business. <laughs> <laughs> I think about it. If you These see, are my peers. If you've seen this guy, it's totally believe me. It's mm. totally opposite ends of the world. Really? Yeah. What a dick. Pettengill. What's the guy's name? Todd. Todd Pettengill. Pettengill. I gotta hear that one. Todd Pettengill. I'm every weekend on the WWF Television Network. Todd Pettengill. Todd Pettengill. Hello, everyone. Good afternoon, everyone. Before we start, I'd like to uh, show you why I got to host this event. Uh, uh, why I got to host this event. Okay, now what he does now is yeah. you're going to hear some silence yeah. because he walks over and pours uh, Vince McMahon a glass of water. That's oh, how he okay. got the job. That's, right. This is his joke. Oh, really? Uh, got a little setup. Wait till you hear the huge laugh he gets. <laughs> All right. All right, everybody. You want to hear how I got this job? Goes over and pulls Vince McMahon's pants down. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 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 oh. Why is it that every disc jockey sounds like Goofy? Yeah, right. <laughs> All right, let me let me hear the laughs he gets. Never try when you're, the audience is, you know. Doug Johnson from ABC News and all the other guys, who, you know, these old but news, the angry old who are news angry guys. they got to be covering this story. They all think they should be covering Watergate. <laughs> Never try to do a joke. <laughs> it just doesn't work. Good afternoon, everyone. Before we start, oh, I'd like uh, to uh, show you why uh, I got to host this event. Yeah. Walk over to Vince. <laughs> Not a laugh. What? A couple of people. <laughs> Those are the waiters. Jackie. <laughs> the waiters. This is why... Uh, 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 <laughs> now that I've bombed, uh, distracting noises. Uh, uh, I'm trying to find page 12 of the ad libs. Yeah. Uh, uh, we have an exciting afternoon for you. Obviously, uh, you guys are no strangers to press conferences and everybody here, but this is unlike any other one. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, it sure is. Yeah, we usually don't get to have a press conference. Lawrence Taylor. <laughs> what the hell was, was that? that? I thought that was his announcer voice. That was him? Yeah, that's him. He's the guy on WWF. Oh, he went to another voice? Lawrence Taylor. <laughs> Lawrence Taylor. Wow. No shame. <laughs> Little rap music. LT. LT tries to come out and be a wrestler now. Yeah, now he's a new, you know, LT, all the years he played for the Giants, hardly spoke and, like, was soft-spoken. Now he's going to be a new Lawrence Taylor. Oh, no. This is the acting Lawrence Does Taylor. Does he walk out any particular way to this music? Is he dancing? No, no. He's wearing, like, a Tarzan outfit no. with a big, like, bone in his That's nose. A, whole, and, a big you know, leather outfit, you know, just a leather jacket. Rides in on a zebra. <laughs> <laughs> should have run for the exit. <laughs> 500000 is a lot of money, but I don't know. Doesn't he have enough money? Does he really have to do this? Yeah. Yeah. Wouldn't you be embarrassed already? Really, really nice. Uh, I am. I'm going. It's a pleasure for me to be associated with the WWF. <laughs> and uh, Forrest, <laughs> whatever. Bam Bam Bigelow goes. I didn't disrespect him. I, I was there to have a good time. There's my, my partner, my pal Diesel. Um, 
wrestle. Is this him trying to be a wrestler? You no, know, yeah. He's Bam Bam Bigelow. He was at a wrestling match. Yeah, and Bam Bam Bigelow is the guy who's fighting because Bam Bam Bigelow shoved him when he was a spectator at oh, a wrestling right. match. Yeah. And and Diesel is 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 is, is, is his friend who's a wrestler. Oh, I so think. this is really supposed to have a premise to it. Yeah, yeah well, you got to get into the story. That's the whole wrestling concept. <laughs> well, yesterday on the news, this is why the fight is occurring. <laughs> it's a personal grudge match. <laughs> yesterday on the news, they're showing this promo. I see grown adults going to these things. <laughs> I know. I know. It's, is I, it Ronnie into what? this? Is it Ronnie? Yeah, oh yeah, Ronnie. Ronnie orders it on pay per view <laughs> and invites people over and has a party. He scares me, Ronnie. It's like bad actors. Yeah, Ronnie the limo driver. He's up front, you know, Mr. WWF. Every time they're on, he's there. You don't understand, Howard. This is this is a really serious fight. The guy shoved him at a... <laughs> Yesterday on the news, they showed, like, LT's behind, like, some sort of sawhorse. Yeah. And he's trying to grab him, and the, uh, everyone's jumping in to pull them apart. Oh, I see. Really, the fight really bad actors. The fight could have occurred right then and there. Right. They were starting they to blown the there. gate. Right. <laughs> um, bam, bam. Oh, let me get I think he has problems, mental problems. I'm not sure what it is. Uh, but, you know, as far as Bam Bam goes, I, I tell you the truth, you know, he's a big guy. He's uh, a gifted athlete. I've seen him wrestle a lot. But I've made a lot bigger and a lot better than him retire from football. So I think I can probably do a little something in the ring with him. And I'm not going to let any Easter egg. Ooh. Ooh. Easter egg. Disrespect me. I mean, uh... Cool. I am a uh, good role model for the black community. Easter egg. Yeah, they call me Easter egg because because Bam Bam's bald head is tattooed to a head. Oh, I see. I'm lost. Bam Bam's a big fat guy in his bald head. You know what? Don't bother explaining. Okay. <laughs> you know, who cares? All right. I'm a man. And I do believe in I'm a man. having a good time. I do believe in uh, uh, showing respect to people. And I think what he did uh, that that wrestling match in Tampa was uncalled for. It's the only reason why I'm going into the ring. And Who's a better actor, LT or Raquel Bianco? Right. What is it? Right. I'll let you just fall with it, mate. See, I'm going out there like a bunch of crazed dogs, and I'm going to have me some fun come WrestleMania. Thank All right. And now, and now the press is supposed to ask serious questions. Yeah. Jo John shouldn't ask stupid questions. <laughs> People are applauding that. Way to go, LT. <laughs> Congratulations. Nice nice LT, LT how are you celebrating how are you celebrating Black History Month? Excuse me? How are you celebrating Black History Month? Uh, beating up on white guys. Oh, oh that question was yeah, how to LT. turn? Yeah. yeah. yeah cool. I didn't know if he'd do QA, so I got one in while he was still doing his thing. QA. Question for LT. For LT. LT. Why didn't you take it any African name? Ooh. Oh, I hear so my name being. They're mentioning <laughs> where John's from. Hey, I'm not in the room. <laughs> if you, just if you run it back a little bit, you hear somebody mumble, "Shut him up." Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, and the reason for the pause, I was locked up for like five seconds. Oh, was it? What was going on? I was wondering why chance. Yeah, yeah I, I don't know what happened. And they waited for you. So why didn't right you take it any African name? Ooh. Howard Stern. Howard Stern. Throw him out. <laughs> Throw him out. Yeah. Any real questions? You stand, just make sure you identify yourself so we know where you're from. And, and, and if, you're, if you're sitting, make sure you stand, please. So what's LT doing when you ask him why he doesn't have an African name? He's uh, miffed like. He, he's, he doesn't know what to do. <laughs> he's just looking around going, what the hell's going on? Because he doesn't know that I'm from you. Uh, you know, yet. So he's just... He should wrestle you. What does that make? Right. Answer the question. Yeah. Because, because the whole place is like, it's just, it's how quiet it got. It's yeah. like, uh-oh. How do you yeah. feel when that's going on? I feel like a dick. Right. <laughs> <laughs> well, you should. My name is Paul Wien. I'm with News Communications Incorporated. And LT, what do you think your chances are since you've never been in the ring before? Oh. Yeah, well, um... Paul Weiner asked that know. question. I, I, I'm Paul thinking I'm a pretty good athlete. I remember when I was in um, high school. What does he just say? Well, it's fixed, stupid. I'm going to win. Ah, yeah, it's all chances. Yeah, I'm not going to lose. And I was playing baseball. Um, they used to have me to go down and wrestle the heavyweight of the school, not because I knew how to wrestle, because I was the meanest guy in school. And um, I plan on being the same type of attitude. LT, did you have a date, Nicole Simpson? <laughs> all right. No, you aren't. OJ, OJ, guilty or innocent? Innocent. Innocent? 
Would you ever wrestle with Greg Luganis? Who? With Greg Luganis. What about it? Would you ever wrestle with him? Sit down, butthead. What, they're really yelling yeah, at me? Yeah, really wow. yelling at me. What's wrong with that? Because now the worst part is i got to stand up now. So there's one guy standing up and everyone behind me yelling LT at me. LT was into it. Stop making us laugh. Yeah. <laughs> what do you say, LT? Uh, have you ever wrestled with No, you? would you ever? Uh, with gloves only. Okay. <laughs> what would you do if you ever encountered a homo wrestler? <laughs> I would probably um, send him over to Howard Stern's house. Oh, <laughs> would you like to see drugs leave? Just the fact that he answered. First they're yelling, they're screaming, then they're happy, he answered. Realized. You know what it is, Howard? They're going by his reaction. If he laughs, they laugh. Yeah, right. If he's angry, they're a bunch they're of puppet heads. <laughs> would you like to see drugs legalized? Oh. Do you have he a little problem? A problem yeah. 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 Oh, he had several You notice it got quiet. <laughs> yeah, right. Now it's quiet again. Yeah. They were just getting into it. Now it's quiet. <laughs> Are there crickets at the restaurant? Yeah, right. Listen. <laughs> I'll tell you, what about drugs? <laughs> Aren't they already? <laughs> LT. Yes. At what point do you look at Cap... <laughs> At what point, at what point do you look at Captain Lou Albano and say, that's for me? <laughs> at no point. What's that? At no point. Yes. <laughs> well, um, what do you say? Really, I'm getting together what a little kind of practice crew now and, you have? and try to... Oh, man. The press was freaking out. Yeah. See, what happened was, like, you know, you're seeing a little edited version, so I would stand up, do a couple questions, sit down. Then every, so you hear and everyone, start yelling at Every time I stand up, oh, come on! <laughs> Not, you know, <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> I saw a couple more. Like they've got better questions. Work on some things. Um, Dino Kiriako, he's uh, who used to wrestle, and he knows a lot about the wrestling uh, techniques and things. He's going to work with me a lot in the next month. He's an acting coach. <laughs> he's getting any curious. Yes. I just picked up one called Tights Kilowatt. Next time, questions. <laughs> No, I haven't acted not yet. LT, if you know your wife was going to have a severely retarded child, would you insist on an abortion? <laughs> no, because I hope he grow up like you. <laughs> <laughs> Howard Stern says hello, LT. Hey, <laughs> yeah, great. Don't bring up my name after a stupid question like that. Why do I have to be blamed? Why do Carl White? <laughs> okay, this is um, Carl White from Fox TV. He's a, a black... A sportscaster on Fox. And what do you say? He gets he gets LT a little riled up. Did he get him riled yet? Did I miss it? No, no, no throw it's back up. Okay. As as retirement got so boring for you, you stoop to this. Ooh. Stoop. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, Ooh. You stooped to going on Fox, didn't you? That was kind of a mean question. Yeah. Jeez. Nobody yelled at him when he stood up. Right. John's getting discriminated against. And, the guy, and LT split after that? No, no. no I even asked him a little bit more about OJ. Uh, <laughs> I, I said, but you didn't do enough? No, I just felt, felt I might as well um, follow up on the other one. A follow-up question. Yeah. 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 John's becoming a journalist. He's actually becoming a journalist. He's actually behaving like a journalist. I'm going to ask a follow-up question. I don't play there no more. Uh, actually, I wouldn't call it good. No, I think that, that comment is unnecessary. LT, why do you think OJ's innocent? Huh? Why do you think OJ's innocent? Excuse me? Why do you think he's innocent? OJ. Because I'm a black guy, and you're supposed to think he's innocent. <laughs> Any other questions? Oh, yes. Okay. You only wear white gloves. Well, I, well, I see it like this. If I put in 13 years of, uh, of football, and I've done a lot of things that hasn't been done in the in the world of football. If if what I do on April the second. It's going to tarnish what I did for 13 years, and the 13 years I put in one worth anyway. So what the hell? Cool. Excuse me. Anything else? 
<laughs> Man. And that was Doug Johnson's question. <clears throat> wow. John's uh, question turned out to be lightweight. <laughs> yeah. We went easy on LT. <laughs> As soon as he heard it was you, though, he, he started smiling. You know. Yeah, it's, it's better you don't tell him. Well, no, it was after oh. you know, everyone yelled it out. I like it better when they hate us. But that guy, when John asked the question about OJ, he just jumped up and cut John off, yeah. trying to keep LT from answering. Well, LT will have to be called in as a witness, won't it? <laughs> you know, if LT says he's innocent, they're going to have to let OJ go. <laughs> what is? Uh -huh. i got to play this tape. Uh, Stuttering John went up to Harlem yesterday to the Mike Tyson thing. Mm -hmm. Mike Tyson had this big press conference. Stuttering John didn't dare open his mouth. He said he didn't ask any they questions. didn't they didn't know who he couldn't ask any questions. It wasn't like a really a press conference. Uh, okay. But there were so many angry black people there when they saw that white skin of his, they were going nuts. Really? Oh yeah. Did he have that on tape? Yeah. Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> oh boy. Because everything was about the white man. We got all this stuff like, you know, uh -huh. white man can't tell us who our heroes are and they all love Joey Butterfuco. Why can't we love Mike Tyson? Oh boy. Like the white people love Joey. Yeah, they've been holding rallies. Joey yeah. got a big welcome home. Didn't yeah, he? I remember. <laughs> He's I remember a real the hero. <laughs> yeah, it's just all this convoluted logic about the white man and how the white man is screwing with him. Mm. It's really oh, cool. Oh come on, Howard! You're making Howard. no. You're making a big deal out of nothing. Did you almost get your ass kicked? It was one of the scariest moments of my life. Uh, from, uh, from being here. Were you the only white guy there? I was. I, uh, it was me and Grillo. The only the the, the the only two you know white guys in a sea of black people. Are no, you just afraid because you're in a scene? No, no, no. I'm afraid because when I got there and I'm walking in, I have the camera. There's there's people behind me going, "Get that camera out of my face! Get that camera out of here! Get get what, what are your crackers doing over here?" You know, I, and it was just like, "Oh man!" <laughs> wait, wait, wait. wait let, let's uh, take a break and then I'll play the tape. You got to hear this. Uh... You know, and then uh, all right, wait, wait. All right, wait till we get back. Yeah. Okay. Jesus. <laughs> what happened, Fred? Okay. Commit. Uh -huh. All right. So we send Stutter and John up to Harlem to cover this. <laughs> this, this Mike Tyson the second thing. coming of Christ. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, a lot of people in Harlem... Hero of the stupid. And I got to say, I am hero of the stupid, because like an idiot, I didn't realize what hat I had on, and I had it backwards. What was it? It was like a police academy hat. Yeah. And, it, and during the, like, the, the, you know, during, you know, the white man's, you know, being the idiot, so they started mentioning how the cops are bad. Yeah. And I'm sitting with this stupid cop hat on, <laughs> the only white guy in this crowd. Did you take it off? <laughs> I, I went to take it off, and I said, well, if I do that, then they're going to think I'm hiding something. So I just <laughs> All eyes were on you, huh? <laughs> Oh, they didn't know what to do. So you could, there was no opportunity to really talk to Mike Tyson because no, I could have yelled. The problem was if I would have yelled one question, I would have to yell like seven or eight times before Tyson could hear. But by that time, the whole crowd would have heard. And up on the stage, people were screaming about the white oh, man. Every Howard, I mean, it probably was in your best judgment just to keep your mouth. Yes, shut. I, I, I really, you know, I, I got balls, but I'm not like suicidal. Yeah, I, right. I would have, yeah. I would have been killed. Right. But then again, that would have been interesting. That would have been funny if you got it on tape. <laughs> like all the people we screaming, Salam Aleikum. Hey, Whitey. You know, it's like, hey, what? You know, it's like, Salam Aleikum. <laughs> you know, you hear that, you head to the hills. How I put it this way, Jordan, you know, Jordan, one of the speeches, the lady goes to me, you know, you know, this black woman behind me goes, why aren't you clapping? So I just said, okay, I started clapping. <laughs> really? They were watching you? Yeah, yeah. Wow. <laughs> You're not allowed to not clap. Were there other reporter types there? Yeah. The, so when I got in there, one of the guys I know, he was in the, like, the front. Then he goes, John, don't do it. Don't ask anything. What are you, that's, <laughs> most, of, most of the no news organizations, though, send over their black reporter, right? No. They really? Were, they were white? Yeah. A lot of times on the news when there's a black story. A black story gets black coverage. Yeah, they had a Jewish story the other day. They, got, like, they had that guy Minton on ABC, you know, on the local news. What's his name? Bill Minton? Tim. Tim Minton. Is he Jewish? Because he looked like a Jewish guy. So the Jewish guy. Yeah, like, yeah it was like. Story. Yeah, because I see like a lot of times on NBC, they send that guy Don Williams. You know that yeah, big yeah, black guy that yeah. jokes like this? The very white or him or Pablo Guzman. They send them over to all the well, black stories. And Pablo covers well, you know what, all Howard? the gang stories. Yeah, gangs and, and, and stuff. Hispanic stories. But they have one of everything because they send an Asian woman down to Chinatown for like the Chinatown yeah, mob killer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yang. I saw her on TV last Eng. night. And, yeah, they have, they have one NG, her name is. Yeah, Miss Ng. <laughs> Ng. <laughs> yeah. Most of the crews were propped up on, on vans, though, so, so they were above. You know, I'm surprised above. no one beat up the crews. I'm really surprised there wasn't a riot because mm. at one point when Tyson hadn't come on yet, yeah. they all started yelling, "Come on, we're hot, we're hot!" You all right, know? listen to this. So here's, so this is up on stage, right? Right. This is a guy. Uh, John didn't know who any of these people were. It was a lot of ministers and stuff. And this guy's screaming about the white media. Okay. Oh, boy. Uh oh. And you're standing there with a microphone <laughs> yeah, yeah. and a police hat on. <laughs> this dope. is not a friendly crowd. <laughs> when the white media says that Mike Tyson is a bad man. When the white media says 
that he's a thug, when the white media says that he is bad for sports, we got to ask ourselves the question, what did they say about Malcolm X? What did they say about Muhammad Ali? They said they would rather the mafia control boxing than Muhammad Ali and the Muslims. But we don't give two cents about what the press says about uh. Oh, boy. Oh, I would have gotten right out of there. Yeah. But wait a minute. When did Mike Tyson become Malcolm X? I don't know. <laughs> Yesterday. The guy, the guy is a total meathead. <laughs> and he raped a black woman. At his greatest moment, he was a guy who took a couple of punches to the head. So I said it would have it would have fit a lot better if he had raped a white woman. It would have been much better. Yeah, the only, the that only, was a political act. Yeah, the only, yeah, exactly. The only <laughs> cog in the wheel is that there's this black woman whose life we is completely ruined. It, so we don't even talk but about you know, probably what Mike did. Yeah. God forgives. We must forgive Mike. Right. That's, that's the is. whole big thing yeah. up there. Salam alaikum. Because they've been wrong more often than they've been right. Is that right or wrong? All right. Now, the, the, the next guy. Mike Tyson was too stupid to rape the right color. <laughs> 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 Whoops! That would have been. You think they've now instructed him? You know, thank God there were a couple of women who stood up and said, "I'm not going to allow a parade for this Mike Tyson mm -hmm. up in my Harlem." Because yeah. you know, I mean, it was so encouraging. But you know, then you got the kook factor out there that just it forgives any kind of criminal act. And yeah, okay, he served his time. You know, w w w you know, he he paid his debt. But you don't have to have a hero as welcome for the guy. Yeah, what is right. the parade about? Yeah, I'm not saying the guy didn't do his time. The guy did his time. Because he's a I, black entrepreneur. That's what right. I'm saying. Yeah. Well, no, he's, a, he's a guy who can beat up people. I heard a black guy on uh, on the sports radio show this morning saying that um, he was at the rally yesterday, and he could tell by being there that Mike Tyson is you know rehabilitated and he's on the right road. Oh. Just by standing in that audience, he could tell. <laughs> he knew. He knew. So he knew Marion Barry would be a good mayor. Well, it's the same, you know, it sounds like the same kind of uh, rhetoric that got Marion Barry elected in Washington. Yeah. The white media is out to get everyone. The white media attacks just about anybody. Or that whole attitude that white people can't tell us who to vote for, white right. people can't tell us who our heroes are. Right. Yeah, well, that's a great hero. <laughs> yeah, you got your hero. That doesn't mean well, you have to go and accept every bad person. Right. <laughs> well, that's a great lead into the next clip. They talk about... Yeah, we're going to show you. We're going we're gonna to admire rapists. A rapist. A rapist. A rapist. I'm a rapist. You know what it is? How it is? It's, just, it's white against black. That's how it is. It's just this like... This country is getting it's just, split down the middle in a war. I don't see how we're ever going to be able to get along. Did, did you tell like people your name was Melendez, that you're Spanish? No, no, no but I, I, I had my gold cross hanging out. So that ain't going to help you. What's that going to do? They're not vampires. What are you, vampires? They won't bite you on the neck. <laughs> Blackula. Blackula. Come here, we're going to bite you. All right, let's see. So who's next? Well, they talk. They say that since the white community has a hero who's a felon, it's okay that the black community has one. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm saying to the brothers and sisters that are the white people in Long Island can proclaim that rapists That's great logic. <laughs> really, man. <laughs> <laughs> Even OJ's confused. Yeah, Joe Buttafuoco's a real hero out on Long Island. You have people shooting at him. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, since white people are stupid, we'll be stupid, too. Would you, it's, it's, getting, it's a working plan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nobody puts people... When they have parades for, for Joey Buttafuoco... That's right. I'm sure a bunch of ministers showed up yeah. to welcome Joey home. Yeah, a lot of white ministers were there. <laughs> Crap, I just spilled water all into the electronic equipment. Oh, <laughs> Probably electrocute the place. Too late. <laughs> Go up and smoke now. Yeah. Salam aleichem, my ass. Uh -oh. Look at this. Goodbye, white media. Yeah, here goes the white media. <laughs> the white smoke. media is burning up. <laughs> the white media electrocuted Did it itself. help? I don't know why I'm near equipment. Yeah, I just, you I just, just thought working it. And I lost why. this. What's that? I'll take it's an article I want to read on the air. Oh, boy. Anyway. <laughs> That's pretty good logic. Got Joey Buttafuoco. We can proclaim Mike Tyson as our hero. Not only is he a champion, he is a universal franchise. When Mike Tyson fights, not only do black people make money, but those racist white people make money. Yeah. Oh, man. I
would have gotten the hell right out of there. <laughs> I and then, then the woman goes, why aren't you clapping? Yeah. Goes, why I'm, aren't you clapping? Yeah. All right. All right I'm <laughs> no problem. Like a seal. She should have thrown you a fish. <laughs> I'm not clapping because I don't feel white people are, are all like that. <laughs> It don't matter, you clap. <laughs> a lot of anger. Gotta clap. Oh, <laughs> uh, that ain't gonna get anybody out of the ghetto. All that anger. You best clap, I knock you out. Wow. <laughs> What's okay. the next clip? Okay, so what happens now? What an the, exciting day. Yeah, on this big day of unity yeah. in the black community, Mike Tyson's late. Yeah. So everyone starts booing. <laughs> they start yelling at one of the ministers. They all start booing the minister. <laughs> Professor, Henry, Professor Henry Fox is about to join us, founder and executive director. Of the Nobody wants to hear from Professor Hilly Fox. <laughs> right. Profess, all these professors. They had, I, I swear, had. Professor Periwinkle is here. <laughs> I think everyone's a professor and a <laughs> minister. Got a title. A professor. <laughs> everybody's, <laughs> everybody's professor. Everybody's the honorable something. Yeah, right. There was about 25 speakers, and like with names like Abdul Salam Alikum and Lidam. Yeah, Malikam. and then. I want him. Where's our felon? And then Mike, wow. and then Mike Tyson is up there, and he got nothing to say. No. He don't want to talk. Ladies and gentlemen. The funniest thing about Tyson's speech is he says, Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Mike Tyson. Here I am, I love a blade. <laughs> Tyson names the five boroughs like that, that have supported him, but he can only name four. <laughs> really? Oh, I can't wait to hear that. P.O. <laughs> yeah. Research Energy Foundation. Let's hear from Professor Fox. Hilly Fox. And they're booing them because yes, booing they don't want him. They want Tyson. Right. They, they start yelling. Fox. Yeah. They start yelling for Tyson. The poor professor. Like it's his fault. Yeah. <laughs> My brothers and sisters, we must calm ourselves down. The professor didn't wipe anybody. <laughs> hey, professor, who did you Doesn't wipe? Let's make the professor and all those ministers think maybe we did the wrong thing. <laughs> yeah, right. Maybe we don't know what we're talking about. Uh, professor, you didn't wipe anyone. We don't want to see you. <laughs> One second. Well, the rally's here. <laughs> <laughs> what? Now, they were yelling, we want Tyson, so he's going, so do we. Oh, I thought that was an African chant. <laughs> so do we. So do we. So, so, so do we. we. So you you got to really yell so out some sort of slogan in order to calm everyone down. you got to sing. Yeah, that way they're afraid to boo. <laughs> it's a bird call. No, they're booing, he's yelling, hmm. and then he says Mike is on 135th Street. <laughs> right. Well, we're here. <laughs> Get on the way. We can't make him come any faster than he comes. When he gets here, he's on immediately. Hmm. And then when he gets there, they go, Mike's here, but he'll be out in five minutes. Half an hour later, he comes out. Oh, boy. <laughs> and it's like Sounds a hundred like a degrees. Book so Mike really cares about all you sweltering <laughs> in the heat. Yeah. School He's yo. in an air-conditioned car taking his time. Now you see what happens when you're late? Uh -huh. People get angry. Oh, excuse Different. me. Well, there you go. It's a lesson. Quit I the certainly lesson. never held anybody up for a half hour. Oh. Oh. You held me up. I waited for your first book what? signing. <laughs> all right, where were we? Um, now, one of the leaders talks about what the white man has done to Michael Jackson and O.J. Oh, good. I've been waiting to hear a lot of this oh, stuff. Yeah, it's there. Every black man under the sun is under attack. You can't be good enough for white folks. Michael Jackson was the best Negro you ever could be. He even bleached his skin white. But Michael Jackson today is under attack. Is that right? <laughs> Do anything no. to cause his attack. Do you Every black man. Well, well, I can name a lot of black. Guys. Branford Marsalis isn't under attack. On top of that, he's putting them down. I know. <laughs> but the point is, they act as if Michael didn't do anything. Michael was uh, getting carte blanche everywhere he went until some problems cropped, right. up, cropped up. It wasn't like uh, he was doing nothing and everybody started attacking him. Well, a white man glued down Rodney King's gas pedal. <laughs> <laughs> Do you hear that Such woman? A yeah. Argument. If you go back a little bit, as this guy's talking, there's a woman standing next to John yelling, "That's right, that's right." Yeah. <laughs> it's illogical arguments. There's crazy people up there. And, crazy. And there's people, supposedly learned people, professors and ministers, yeah. who are exhorting them uh -huh. to uh, have this kind of anger <clears throat> and to professor. continue to have these uh, wacky feelings. And What's he professor of? I don't know. But now you can understand the defense of O.J. Simpson. Yeah, it's a wacky defense. Michael Jackson today is under attack. Is that right or wrong? What about our brother O.J.? O.J. the juice. Our brother O.J. the juice. Oh, my God. I don't I don't know that O.J. is going to come to visit you. In this this, I told you there's a weird thing going on. Like, 
relating to criminals, like taking criminal. If they're black, they're innocent. Yeah, it's just weird. Well, that's why these communities are falling apart, because yeah. they keep the criminals inside, the criminals prey on them. And then they scream and, about the police don't protect them. And the police them. come in to try to break everything up, and they say, no, you're hitting our innocent children. Right. <laughs> so we have a big mess. He forgot he was black, didn't he? But yet they didn't forget he was black. And what I respect about Don King, what I respect about Mike Tyson, is that they recognize that they're black men living in a white man's world, but we are working hard to rise the black man up to where he belongs, not at the, at the bottom or in the back, but in the front. We are the original people, kings and queens of civilization. Stand up, black man, black woman, be proud of who and what you are. You have done beautiful things. Even after you have been raped. Right. <laughs> Oh, yeah. What about Desiree Washington? Yeah. Anyone care about her? Yeah. What's black up? Woman, I said, the one black woman next to me, like I think she had like I think it hit her right in the head at that moment. She was like, she goes, yeah, why do we let all these criminals back into the society? They only do it again anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I was like, I think I think it just hit her right there. It might be some of this was wrong. You know who who um stood up for Mike Tyson? They said that they sent the facts and everything. Maya Angelou. Oh yeah. That that um yeah she she's like behind him. <laughs> That's good. She's a great woman. She's a real great woman. She should, be write, she should write more poetry that nobody understands. <laughs> Suddenly the Pulitzer seems worthless. Yeah. Salam alaikum. Allah <laughs> salam. Did that happen? Did my <laughs> angel get the Pulitzer or was it Toni Morrison? I thought she got it. I like the better when black people are Catholic. What? You know, when they used to go to church and stuff. Now they're into Just this Christian. Muslim thing. Yeah. <laughs> they were more under control. <laughs> hey, well, if you had ended uh, segregation sooner, maybe that would That's have right. Gone. I don't like all this whole Muslim <laughs> thing. You had a religion telling you you were a king and a queen. And the first I'd go to beat, that one. i go to that one. Yeah, me too. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the Jews. They keep hearing they're the chosen people, so they keep going back to the temple. <laughs> okay. It's the only place you can hear <laughs> Yeah, where, do you, where else do you hear that? <laughs> Right. You should rewind this a little bit. This is the best one of them all, Howard. Okay. This is the last one. This is the best one. Is this Professor Periwinkle? I don't know who this is, but this is. they're explaining that what Mike Tyson did wasn't so bad compared to some other people. Who ah, okay. you got to hear this one. All right. Okay. This is good logic. Do you all remember pretzel logic? It really is. The lady who drove her two children in the river down yeah, South yeah, Carolina. Yeah, yeah. Mike Tyson didn't do that. <laughs> Where's her parade? <laughs> yeah, I guess there's no black people beating their children. Yeah, she's got a whole community asking for the death penalty for her. Yeah. Somebody's throwing her parade. Do y'all remember the man who dropped the bomb in Oklahoma City? Mike Tyson didn't do that. No. Do y'all remember Jeffrey Dahmer who ate the people and put them in the refrigerator? Yeah, but now you can have a black guy eat a few people. We're seven parades. What's the point? Right, wait, we're, we're getting to it. We're getting to it. Give the man a chance. He deserves his day. Mike Tyson didn't do that. Yet they I can write a speech like this. We, we heard, heard about, about it. it. <laughs> I like the audience better than the guy talking. You're like, yeah, I heard about it. No, but there's one guy, every time, you know, the yeah. guy's in a rhythm, he goes, da 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 da. He goes, we heard about it. Right. Da 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 da. Yeah. We heard Who about is that guy? I want to get him on the show. <laughs> every time I say something, I want to hear, we heard about it. <laughs> Do that. <laughs> yes, they tell us we cannot have our brothers and sisters come on. And we say to them, them, they. Those people. Those people. <laughs> if we say to them, we want Mike Tyson, we can't have a little parade. We heard about it. <laughs> All right. So, but now I'm supposed to like Mike Tyson because he didn't drive his kids into a river. Yeah. To be he doesn't friend. have any kids. How do we know he won't drive them into a river? <laughs> we want our brothers and sisters to come home. That's right. Because home is all you got. That's right. That's right. Mm -hmm. There's, a whole, there's a whole conversation going on. There. That's right. That's right. I heard you. If Mike yeah. Tyson was a broke rapist, yeah. they wouldn't be welcoming him anywhere. Bill, so you're in charge of being an old black guy who just keeps going, we heard about it every time. I say this. I heard about it. Right. <laughs> I heard it. Is that it? I wish there was more. Yeah, that's yeah, it. Yeah. There ain't gonna be more. Wasn't that enough? <laughs> Who did? Uh -huh. Have you golfed since the tragedy? Um, on the weekend, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay, I can't believe it. Because I think maybe you, the go you have to golf. I don't want People to give don't know up. when to laugh, but Tom knows when to golf. When is it appropriate to golf? <laughs> Meanwhile, right listen to this. I never talked about this. As long as, <laughs> as, long as uh, Tom's here. Right, let's keep it on. Go ahead. Tom golfs prof almost professionally yeah. no 
But so Tiger Chiasana. he plays all the time. <laughs> Stuttering John has golfed six times in his whole life. <laughs> so, so John, who I think is an idiot because he bet Tom money. How much money did he you bet? bet? Robin, well, he bet Robin's money. Whatever. You it, bet, it was 500 to Tom's thousand. Do you know about this? No. All right. So John bet a thousand bucks, no, and John you bet a thousand to John's five hundred. All right, and Robin stupidly takes her money and backs John for five hundred dollars in this bet. And I said, "What are you yes, crazy, yes, John?" I recall this. This is on the air, right? Yeah, yeah John yeah. against Tom Chiasano. I was like, "Robin, are you nuts?" <laughs> no strokes. Well, guess who? Right. Guess who beat Tom at golf? Not again, John. John oh, did. My John beat him. Well, wow. You know what? Now took five hundred off of Tom. No, thousand. A thousand. Oh, a thousand. Yeah. Actually, nine, actually so Robin gets five hundred. Nine hundred ninety-eight. <laughs> what? Nine hundred ninety-eight. How could you lose to Stuttering John as much golf as you play? I, I will, How do you do that? What a waste of time for him I, to be I on the feel, court. Here's the deal. <laughs> How did you beat him? It was amazing. Tom got very cocky, and and uh, you know, I, and and I irritated Tom enough, right? That uh, he screwed up. That was my strategy in the beginning. <laughs> His caddy pulled me aside and goes, "John, you're getting to him." You get into him. Uh, every, every, what were you saying? I, I would just, you know, goof around with Tom, like you know, I, you know. I, I don't, meanwhile, I was drinking like five or six Heinegans during the, during the whole of thing. Course. Well, mm. Tom didn't drink you at all. Train. Tom and, was concentrating. Yeah, Tom was concentrating. He was, he, you know, he said I wasn't getting to him. He was totally fine. And uh, and, and and you know what the best part about it, it was at Tom's country club. Right. So after I took him for a grand, I just like drove when, when when Tom and I drove back after I won. Like it was like the most. It was the most uncomfortable moment I've ever spent uh, like spent with Tom because uh -huh. he was just he's like I haven't been this upset since I lost the golf championship, and I'm and I'm yelling out the back to all Tom's buddies, hey, I just took Tom for a grand. <laughs> <laughs> you lost a thousand dollars to John. That's something you do all the time. To... How is that possible? John, First of all, I always thought at least I, you're I, good I, at this I, golf. I'm the other party here, so if yeah, I did, may, yeah, he I has. Lost, did you lose? I, I lost. Did you I, lose I, or I, win? I paid John a thousand dollars. So you lost, just, just like you paid Scott. No, Howard. Howard, he, Wait, is it? he had to get lost. the ball in the hole. He has a lame excuse. He There's thinks no this lame is lame excuse. It is. What's this is what happened. This is what happened. Look, you know, I, I paid the bet. I I'll, paid the bet. I'll explain it to you. The first shot I did, I I dinked it off the free, oh, oh, the freaking ticket. Just rolled like ten feet away into the weeds. Okay. <laughs> I'm like Tom, give me another shot. He's like, no way. He goes, this is a bet. Tom hits it right next to the hole in the sand trap. My next shot, I'm hitting it from the weeds. The E camera gets close to me, shooting me shoot it. As I shoot the ball, it hits the E camera. Now, <laughs> in a normal golf, even Scott the Pace will say, the camera's not going to get that close to right, you. Right, right. So I said, Tom, come on. I mean, you know, you know, give me another shot. The E camera there. He goes, Tom, being cocky, goes, not only am I going to give you another shot, I'm going to let you shoot it no, off the tee. first I said, no, uh, let's, let's tell <laughs> the oh, so, so, now, so he puts the ball said, down on a tee. What? Now, first I said, no. That's the rule of golf is you hit the shot, you now play it from where it lies. And then Tom's that caddy, the rule of golf. Tom's caddy goes, no, don't, don't, you're making stuff up. I'll, I'll call. You him. asked, you asked, you asked him where would it have gone? Where yeah. it would have gone had nothing to do with the rule of so, golf. So, so Tom's caddy said the ball, you know, would have gone right next to where Tom's was. So right. it would have been a nice shot. Yeah. But the but the e camera got in the way. You could even see what like when I he's hit standing it. Standing to the side. No, he was moving in on me while I was like, I, I paid the bet. Anyway, so the, hold on. You know what? As, so as good one, as Tom is, uh, this is like the worst excuse. So, 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 so that was one time. So Tom gives me another shot. I hit it, you know, next to Tom's ball. Right. Now, now I'm next to Tom's ball. I have two shots against me. I have two. Right. Tom's got one. Right. Tom chokes. Hits the ball <laughs> over the hole and rolls down the other side. <laughs> John, out of the sound sand trap, hits it four feet from the hole. <laughs> So then, wow. Tom has, has has one more shot because now it's because now we're so even. it was only one hole of golf. Yeah. Oh. So, so now we're even. Tom, Tom could still redeem himself and win. Right. Shoots it again and misses the hole. All right. Johnny hits it in perfectly oh. and sinks it and gets a four as Tom gets a five. You didn't <laughs> get given any strokes. No, I did. I beat him so fair and square. I know, I know, because he has a lame excuse because to, the e-camera got this, hit. I got, wow. <laughs> the rule of golf would have been... Tom, uh, Tom, God. be a man here. The, I mean, I paid the, I'm a man. I paid you should have beat me by, one. like, five strokes. I suck, Howard. How I am the, the worst golfer known to man. The best moment was, because I saw the videotape of it, <laughs> John sinks the ball. This is at a very nice country club. Right, right. 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 John sinks the ball and starts running around in a circle like a retard. Like, I won. I won. At one point, he does somersaults. He's jumping. He's laying on his stomach. I won. I won. Uh, you, Howard, wouldn't you? People, very oh, that's great. Well, wait a minute. Very painful. There was you... one hole of golf, and it, it didn't take any time at all for you to get under yeah. his skin. Well, you know what? Because we had one practice hole. And in the practice hole, we Tom shot 
a, a, a six on a par four, which is a double bogey. Right. His caddy pulls him aside and goes, you know, John, you're getting to him. Ah. Tom, he goes, Tom would never double bogey this Get hole. rid of that caddy. Yeah. <laughs> Double well, bogeyed? Yeah. In fact, I I, I heard in uh, through the grapevine that Tom was very angry at his caddy because his caddy was like you know, uh, talking to me right, about right. about Tom's. Yeah. Um, I heard that Tom was really like visibly upset. Like, <laughs> oh no, no, no I not, was, not, like, absolutely. I was. That, that, I'm like absolutely. Yeah. I was. I was. How could you lose to stuttering John? You should be able to be blindfolded and beat him. The He's the worst. The he probably plays like me. I don't even. I've never even hit a golf ball. <laughs> that he I, can hit the ball at all is amazing. <laughs> and he's Tom, drunk. Tom Are you drunk? Saying, yeah, I had a nice <laughs> buzz going. I was drinking. <laughs> right, Tom? It's a great American story. <laughs> it really is. But it was great. How like you know, Tom would like buy me balls, and I would like you know leave them somewhere. Mm. I go, Tom, I don't have any balls. I just bought your balls. <laughs> so he would, it's so, like just golfing with Norton. The, the people at his really country is. club. Are probably look you could even bring a Jew next time just don't bring stuttering <laughs> right <laughs> I love it you could bring a black guy do whatever anything <laughs> but, oh you know, I love that you know, you know it's funny I was I was telling the owner of the station the other day um you know you know you know I'm, no, I'm, yes no. And and I, w I was telling him that he, he was laughing hysterically I can't believe Tom uh, missed the golf would lose to you uh, wow Tom Tom that's Tom. a disgrace uh, you know I paid the bet you <laughs> lost to stuttering Johnny golf all right listen Again. <laughs> <laughs> was that the second time? Yes. Second time. Yeah, yeah, the second. Oh, I didn't even know that was, yes, the, first it was the first time. It was like two, three years ago. Two, three years ago. Yeah, where, where it was one hole, and Tom thought he was going to beat me, and I and I knocked the ball right onto the yeah, green. When John probably had never touched a golf club. <laughs> right. Wow. Yeah, John, Howard, you got balls. And get a load of this. I didn't even bring my clubs. I had no spikes. I played with sneakers, and I and, and I borrow clubs from Tom's golf cl club. Mm. I wasn't even like I knew my clubs. The people at the country club must have been <laughs> nauseous. You know what? I got to tell you, really, I, I can't I can't bring out enough. John is so he's such an ungracious winner. Oh, you know? there, there's no worse person to lose something. Like that. <laughs> the, most, yeah. Yeah. the most annoying human being in the world. <laughs> the most annoying human being. Play him again, Tom. <laughs> Stuttering John Daly. <laughs> How did you beat him? It was amazing. I, I would never bet on you. He plays golf every. Everyone tells me he's some kind of golfer. Howard, everybody says like you know, when you're in the sand trap, they say you're supposed to hit the ball an inch behind. You know, you're supposed to hit, hit, hit it, the it, sand, right? Yeah, hit the yeah. sand first. So I just said, you know what? I go, I suck. So instead of doing that, I'm going to top the ball and it's going to roll onto the green, roll right on. <laughs> and Tom's went whoop over the hole down. <laughs> Down the hill. And, and Tom has taken many, many <laughs> golf lessons. Tom, you don't know how to hit out of the sand trap? Yes, I do. Uh, see, Howard, here's the sad thing. He blames on the e camera, but he was up a stroke on me, I, I Howard. He, he, so he had one stroke got, on the sound trap. I, I was in the same position anything. he was. I, I had you were down a stroke. I was down a stroke. I was down. It was up we to Tom. What happened? Yeah. Tom then hit the ball ooh, 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 <laughs> down the hill, and I hit it wow. right next to the hole. So, how I mean, wow. How yeah. many lessons would you say you've had, Tom? Oh, so you started golfing at what age? Um, seriously, about, I don't know. I mean, I started playing when I was like 15. <laughs> oh so God. how many lessons? And John, how, how many how many <laughs> lessons have you taken? Years I think I had one lesson in my life, and, <laughs> I, and, and, and I drank through it. And <laughs> You're wearing high top Ask ponies. me how many times I played golf this year. How many times? Once before Tom. Wow. <laughs> Once. Wow. Tom, what the hey, <laughs> the hell? And this is like this is like his course, so he knows the course better than anybody. Right. That's right. He plays better than it. He has his own clubs, his own spike shoes, his own um, you know, um, you know, ordinance <laughs> shorts daddy, and stuff. He, he even was scolding me because I had my hat on backwards, and, and right. like you're not allowed to wear your hat on backwards at oh. his club. He yeah. knows the rules. He's got the regulation. He's outfit. got all the rules. What is he wearing, he has the regulation outfit. He has those <laughs> those 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 regulation shorts. <laughs> those little bobby socks. What a day of golf. What a regulation <laughs> yeah. socks. Yeah. Those little bobby socks. The little ones that peek over yeah, the top. Yeah, that peek over the top. And then these yeah. spike shoes, so he has spikes for extra traction. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> spikes. <laughs> He's got his own claws. Okay, it's a good thing I wasn't here. I would have bet $5,000. <laughs> uh, Tom. Right? Uh, Tom, Me too. I would, I would say, it's hey, golf. Golf. Uh, you can't beat a guy in golf. He's been <laughs> golfing since he was 15. Yeah. Oh, this is after my first shot. I dribbled 10 feet away from the hole. <laughs> <laughs> so Tom had everything going for him. Uh, <laughs> what do you mean regulation? shorts. <laughs> oh, no, he has these shorts. Because, you know, you can only wear certain shorts on a golf course. 
You can't, you know, wear dungaree shorts. You, right. know, you know, he had, you know, the... Like Bermuda shorts? Yeah, you know, like what, these... Were they patterned or were they no. solid? What do they look like, Tom? Solid. <laughs> brown, they were brown shorts, I believe. And they're, they're the proper length? Appropriate length yes. shorts. And, and then he has a golf shirt on, you know, the appropriate golf shirt, because you can't wear a t-shirt, so you have to wear a golf shirt. Mm. With a collar. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. The video, yeah. looks, the video looks, looks like Greg Allman <laughs> golfing with Nixon. <laughs> and he has his caddy there who had, had to be astonished that, that Tom lost, because Tom's yeah, like the fact, pro. Kevin Leake is a fireman. In the Rochelle. Wow. And, and he was Tom's caddy, who Tom was, you know, tipping, who I hear he's very angry about cause, yeah. because the caddy pulled me aside and goes, You're getting to Tom. <laughs> he's never shot a double bogey. <laughs> yeah, right. he's, he's not happy. And I'm, I'm sure he's not happy with me. Well, because you be... No! I'm sure he's happy with you, John. No, you're not, no, you're not that significant. Oh, oh you oh, man. You should have saw him how he, he didn't want to oh, talk was, to me I on the golf course. Uh, no, absolutely. <laughs> he was just. But why, Tom? He beats you. I, be, because, a because not, be a good sport. Because, because not really. Oh, because. see, not real. I mean, it's amazing. You should have killed me, Tom. When we pulled back up to the, to, 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 you know, to the house where all the, all the golf is. We're in the golf right cart, and everyone's like, "Hey, so Tom, you kick his ass." And and Tom doesn't say anything. I go, "No, I killed him." And they're like, "Get out of here! You're lying." They're like, "Tom, he's lying, right?" Tom's like, "No, no, 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 no. He won. Oh dear. He won." Boy, I'm glad I didn't get in on that bet. It was because the e camera. You would have bet on <laughs> because, uh, because, because that, it's a short like bet. Money. Wow, he was so sure of it. He he put the ball on a tee when I was in the in the weeds. He goes, John, yeah, oh, you can even put it on a tee. I'll help you. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I, I got a little yeah, cocky. I, I, I draw the corollary between you and uh, and the push up bet. Okay. There's no, there's no correlation. All I know is he got the ball in the there's hole. There's no the ball in the hole. Tom, how about when we both in the sand trap? You had only one stroke. I had two. Shouldn't you beat me there? Aren't you a, a better golfer than me there that you should have won? Yeah, but I mean, ah! my ball was whatever. Uh, you know what? There's no <laughs> what was wrong with your ball? What was wrong with your ball? Always buried. I mean. Oh, uh -huh. okay. Well, you know, it was so bad that he hit it over the hole and into the, and, right, and, and like down the hill. Which is what happens. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Listen, Tom. I go wouldn't have done that. I got to take a break. We've talked way too long. I was. Completely, I, uh, I was completely off base. <laughs> and after the break, we'll come back and pretend none of this happened. <laughs> you want to golf? You know how it all, all, the, all the sales staff has been coming no, up to didn't me? Didn't he just say all the sales staff coming up to me and they're going, "You, you beat Tom in golf? That's so funny!" <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, this is just. <laughs> so you got the thousand. Yeah, yeah. Like I, I, I even made a copy of the check. Cause, and now you got to oh. give Robin back five hundred, right? I, I don't know. However, it works. I did. You know, like you Tom was on the keep the money. You deserve it. <laughs> keep it. It's worth the humiliation. You, you deserve it. This has been more than payment enough. Robin, you should have seen after I won. I was so happy. I was elated because we I have mean, tape of it. That, oh, I, I, that I was and running around in a circle and Tom was just standing there, <laughs> like looking yeah, at it's me. It's funny. It's funny. In his golf outfit. Yeah, in his That's little in his regulation <laughs> golf outfit, looking at me like running around <laughs> and knowing. <laughs> And then, and then on the way, I told you, as we were driving back in the golf cart, he's like, I haven't been this upset since I lost the golf championship. Wow. All right, Tom, listen, you got to practice more. That's all the, that's, practice makes perfect. You'll get it right. Who is this? Cash app, dollar sign, milk, crate, marauder. Uh huh? Venmo, at, milk, crate, marauder. <laughs> you stupid bastard.